have, dude. Figured I'd show you what an engine looks like when it's open. So I took the top of the engine off. There it is right there. It's cleaning it out. And here you can see the camshaft. There's only one on this engine. And the camshaft has these little lobes, these, like these little teardrop shaped pieces, which control these valves. Each one of these, that's the intake valve, that's the exhaust valve. Each cylinder has one. It's a four cylinder engine. One, two, three, four. So right now you can see the intake valve on this one is being opened right now. And the exhaust valve on this one's being opened right now. And the other two have all both the valves closed because each each piston is in a different part of the cycle. So there's four parts of the cycle: intake, compression, ignition, exhaust. So the cam is what controls like which one's getting fuel and air at the right time, which one's exhausting at the right time, which one's sealed for compression at the right time, which one's, you know, exploding and pushing the camshaft down at the and the crankshaft down, the crankshaft's at the bottom. The crankshaft spins at the bottom as the explosion causes the pistons to uh, throw down and make the crankshaft spin. And the crankshaft is belted up to this guy with this belt. This is the timing belt. So as the crankshaft spins, this belt spins. That exactly the, the timing has to be right. That's why you have to set the timing of your engine. If it's off by one tooth, it doesn't work. Because if it's off by one tooth, well, maybe one tooth would be okay. But if it's off by, like, say, two or three, the valves are opening at all the wrong times. So anyway, check this out. It's kind of spitting oil everywhere, so I don't want to leave it going for long, but just figured I'd show you how that works. And you can see the fire in all the different valves at exactly the right time. And at the end of the camshaft is the distributor. And this controls as the, as the cam spins around, it spins around a little rotor inside this thing, which makes electrical contacts to all the spark plugs at all the exact right time. So these are the spark plug wires that go off and power the spark plugs. That's it. That's the inside of an engine running. Look how much oil is spit everywhere, so I better close this guy back up. Anyway.